Suppose we want to solve the equation tan theta equals minus 0.27 for theta between 0 and 360 degrees or 2 pi radians. Well, we know that the tan of theta is the sine of theta divided by the cos of theta. So we take the y value of a point on the unit circle and divide by the x value for a given value of theta. In this case, theta is 127.5 degrees. And uh, we can see that the sine of 127.5 degrees is 0 0.79. We can see that the cos of 127.5 degrees is minus 0 0.61. 0 0.79 divided by minus 0 0.61 gives us minus 1.3. So let's just see the angle theta on this unit circle, whose tan is minus 0.27. So we want the ratio of these numbers to be minus 0.27. So we're looking at the ratio here. Here it is. You see that theta is 165 degrees. Of course, your calculator will give you one solution to this equation. Just get inverse tan or arc tan of minus 0.27. Unfortunately, we get this answer here, um, which is not what I've showed on the diagram. It's not, it doesn't correspond to 165 degrees, but let's just note it down. Now, as we've seen before, if you get a negative angle, it's measured clockwise from the positive x-axis, and that's equivalent to another angle that's measured anti-clockwise from the positive x-axis. So to get the angle that's equivalent to this angle, we just add 360 onto it. And I'll show this on the diagram. So to two decimal places, we get 344.8, well, 344.9 degrees. Now let's see this on the diagram. Um, I won't be able to show it exactly because I haven't the increments as fine as I could have them. Well, actually, this angle is very close to 3, 4, 5 degrees. So I'll just use this picture to illustrate the solution. Now, I'm going to cheat a little and just round these two values to the nearest integer so that I can show this exactly on the diagram. An angle of minus 15 degrees is considered to be equivalent to an angle of plus 345 degrees. So the positive angle is measured anti-clockwise from the positive x-axis. The negative angle is measured clockwise from the positive x-axis. And, you know, we can check this on the calculator. Um, we've already seen the tan of the negative angle. Let's just see it again. It's actually very close to minus 0.27. See, this value here to two decimal places is exactly minus 0.27. So uh, this rounding is, is, is good enough. Um, let's get the tan of 3, 4, 5. That should also give us minus 0.27. And again, you see this value to two decimal places is exactly minus 0.27. So now we're interested in the quadrants or, the, or quadrant um, for which the tan function is negative tan function is minus 0.27. So we know that that's the s quadrant. Because only in the s quadrant is the sine positive. I, I mean that the only function in this quadrant that's positive is the sine function. So the tan function will be negative for angles between 90 and 180 degrees. So we need to get a point corresponding to this point in this quadrant here. And we know how to do that. We just reflect this point through the origin. We get the image of this point under central symmetry in the origin. So here it is. You can see that the coordinates just change sign. Plus 0.97 becomes minus 0.97. Minus 0.26 becomes plus 0.26. So what angle does this point correspond to? Well, you can imagine reflecting this reference angle through the, the origin. And here it is again, 15 degrees. So we're talking about an angle in this quadrant, an angle between 90 and 
180. So how do we find this angle? We just take 15 degrees from 180. So this is what we saw earlier. Um, I thought the calculator would give this answer, but actually it gave an answer of minus 15. So we had to start here in this quadrant. Now, even if you've never heard of the cast rule, you know, you could still work this out. You know that the tan is got by uh, taking sine, the y value of this point, and dividing it by the x value of this point, and you want it to come out to be negative. So in what quadrant will this ratio come out to be negative? Well, it's only going to come out to be negative in the quadrant um, where the x and y values have opposite sign, which is this quadrant here. Um, it can't In this quadrant, uh, the ratio will be positive because both x and y are negative. So we can forget about this quadrant. So you don't have to have heard of the cast rule. Just refer to the coordinates of the point. So now you can see it up here again. Um, point 26 is the sine of 165 minus point 97 is the cos and this ratio is of course negative. So now we found the two solutions to the equation. So just as a reminder, if you go to your calculator and you get a negative value, as we did here, um, just add 360 degrees onto it and we get a value that's considered equivalent. Well, you can write down either of these and then use your unit circle, the cast rule if you want to, to find the other angle. Now there's only two angles between 0 and 360 degrees that satisfy this equation.